What is going on, everyone? The drama just continues for this Houston Texans team. NFL insider Josie Anderson just put out a tweet and it said, I'm told there's still uncertainty surrounded the current front office situation with the Houston Texans, to put it respectably per league source. While the current structure assists ownership in navigating this offseason for the time being, it is tenuous at best, we'll see. Even though it doesn't name drop Nick Conserio, everyone knows who the front office is in. It is Nick. He has been the one calling the shots the past two seasons, and he is still currently aiding in the process for the next head coach for the Houston Texans. We just saw him put out requests for Ben Johnson, D'Amico Ryan, Shane Steinman, Jonathan Gannon, and it's like, why is this report coming out now? It shows dysfunction it shows no one knows what really is going on down there in Kirby and you would understand if this tweet came out after in the firing of Levy Smith right it would show that owner Cal McNair has been so frustrated with the way this has been going the past two years seven wins combined in two seasons and after the firing of the head coach you could see why he would think about firing the general manager Nick Casario but after putting out the request for these head coaches, immediately the very next day after firing Lovey Smith, after Nick Casario goes out there in a press conference, and honestly, the press conference was very telling for me. If you pay attention to body language and the way people talk, this wasn't the Nick Casario we've seen the past two years. Nick Casario has always come in with being the smartest guy in the room, the center of the tension. I'm sorry, the center of attention and honesty. In his press conference yesterday, he looked defeated. He talked about taking accountability for the way the season has been going. He talked about the clock ticking. And honestly, what it sounds like to me is ownership took him to the back and got on his ass and say, maybe you're not really as smart as you think you are. Maybe you need other people around you, or maybe I need to be more in the, you know, in the hiring process. That is something that Cal McNair said that he was going to do, but they got on his ass and maybe said, you have one off season or one year to fix this and fix this now. Maybe that's why Nick Casario talking about the resources going into the off season, more draft capital, more, uh, more money to use them for agency. Are we going to see a different Nick Casario? Because remember last year he said, I'm going to go down swinging. Is this is what we are going to see from our general manager? I think the time is now. For one, I think I want to give a shout out to the ownership. I know I've been very critical the past couple years, but I feel the pressure being added. I feel that sense of urgency. I saw it when you fired Lovey the hours after the Colts came. You then put five, six interview requests the very next day. You then had a press conference, the, you know, the very next day about the future of the Houston Texans. Nonetheless, this report by Ms. Josina Anderson is very telling. I really don't want it to be where, you know, if it is true and if there is uncertainty with Nick Casario, then just fire him. It makes you look more dumb to have this guy be in the hiring process only to get rid of him. And I know he talked about the the idea or the acknowledgement of stepping down if a potential head coaching candidate wants that too. But I think maybe that goes to, you know, him not being the man like he's been and just being a general manager. Sometimes you sometimes other teams other teams' fans should not know your general manager's name. Nonetheless, I love the added pressure. Maybe it was from the fans, but I love it from ownership. You guys let me know how you feel. As always, go Texans. Y'all have a very blessed day.